Hey guys, just coming to you today with a quick video on how to create your own styles. So you know like right here when you come in and there's already styles in here and I already have like a bunch of them uploaded and stuff like that. Um, but I want to show you how you can create your own because maybe you have something that you want to uh, apply to like your text or just anything that you have in here and I'm just going to show you a couple of ways to do that. Um, so the first thing I'm just going to bring in just like a basic square and let me turn my stroke off here and so I have this black and you know what I'm just going to Actually, I am going to add some to show. I have this little gradient here. And so you see it's just black and it has blue on it. So all I'm going to do right now is going to select this. And I'm going to create. I'll show you real quick. I'm going to create my own little section. So I'm just going to go right here. And I'm going to add a styles category. And then I'm just going to right click on it. I'm just going to rename it. Let's call it My Styles. And so now it's selected. And so now all I'm going to do is hit Add from Selection. And I'm just going to move this over now. And I'm just going to bring in some text. And I'm just gonna click this and bam so now this style that I created has been added to this text all right so now I'm gonna get rid of that you can also so I have this one right here so now I'm gonna play around with this one and I'm gonna add some effects to it so let's see let's maybe put some 3d on it all right so we put some 3d on it and maybe let's emboss it a little bit just a wee bit and see if we'll play around with the outline just because we'll just play around with it and let's just for fun we'll just add we'll just add that color to it we're just playing around all right okay so now going back here and I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna go to add style from selection all right so let's open one I'm gonna click it and bams so now the style that we created from this text it goes into here and now when we click that it goes on to here so that's a one way to create it just from right there all right so let's get rid of this all right so now let's bring in an image and let's see what i got here just drop this in all right so i got this supreme image here so um with images it's just a little bit different it's it's easy um so right now you see i brought this in and if i click on add style for, i have it selected now see what happens it creates nothing here it says there's something there but there's nothing there so i'm just going to delete that and all I did was right click and now I'm going to click on delete. So what you want to do is you want to right click on it and go to convert to curves. 
and now I'm gonna I still have it selected and now I'm gonna go to add style from selection and BAM now it's there so I'm just gonna move this over and let's just type in and now I'm just gonna hit the style and now that has been applied to the text and I'm just gonna bring this square in and I'm just gonna bring that to the top and see so now this image comes up in here and so what I've learned also is so the way that you bring it in that's the way it's gonna um, impose itself in your text so it's gonna fit um, that image into your text so see and now I'm just going back to the styles and see you see how it's placed in there how like that's right there it's just gonna place that image in there just like that and so we'll do it one more time just gonna go back here delete delete all right let's bring in another one and see what this one is all right so we got some money all right all right so now I'm just like I said right clicking on it I'm hitting convert to curves and now I'm going to styles and just gonna click on add from selection and bam there it is okay gonna bring in some text for you selecting that and there you have it so I want to show you something else all right so I'm gonna just let's see I'm gonna bring in just a quick SVG for you all right let me get rid of this and so right now I'm just going to hit edit this all right so I'm going to my layers panel and so like when I'm in embedded this means whatever I edit here is going to show up over here so I'm just going to click my move tool so that I can click on something and um, this SVG is in you know pieces already so I'm just going to click on her hair and now I'm just going to go to styles and I'm going to apply those styles we just created so see it's just look at that so you can apply it to that also go back here and I'm just gonna hit backspace so I can just bring in another square and you can apply it to a square uh, you can apply it to a circle Look at that and then you can go to your effects so let's just say um, I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna use this one right here so this is our square so now I'm gonna go to let's maybe give this a little outline let's go with gold maybe let's put some gold on there so we put some gold 
and all right and so now we go back to our styles and I'm going to add style from selection all right move this up bring in some text money so see everything we apply to that now applies to this style and that's pretty darn cool so you can just go in there and I mean literally you could be here all day playing around with uh, with your gradients you can um, you can I mean pretty much just bring in something you know grab a square and if that's where you want to start at you grab your square um, you know the gradient tool I love to play around with we can bring that gradient tool in there and uh, let's see play around with a little gold here we'll add another circle there and let's just uh, we'll just put some white in there and put another color in there all right so and I have my stroke on and see I'm just going here the stroke is the outside and you see right now I have it on blue and I'm actually just gonna take the stroke off So no stroke. We'll just click back on here. And we're gonna go clicking on there. And we're just gonna do you see I'm just taking the stroke off. Alright, so now I'm going here and I'm gonna add style from selection. All right, and it's right here. Mm. Going to my layers. Bring in a black one. All right. All right, go back here. Bring it to the front. Go back to my styles. And there we have it. And even once you bring something in, even if you don't want to edit, you could still go to your effects and you can, you know, manipulate your uh, text after that. You know, you can still do all those and you just still have your gradient um, in there and it's applied to the text. So that's a couple. I've just showed you a bunch of different ways to uh, create your own styles. And I mean, it's it's endless possibilities. So if you have any questions, uh, please be sure to comment below. Uh, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And as always, have a beautiful day.